Yo, it's WizardFoo here. Another game development video. Current topic is multiple dynamic shadows for the voxel engine. Check it out. So we've got uh, a directional light that is being shined uh, straight at the current time. You can see what where the shadow is right now when we get... Whoa, what the heck's going on over there? <laughs> Part of the world was like not drawn. Anyways, uh, the shadow you look is going like basically straight to the left. Well, it's going a little bit up as well. You can see as we change the angle. That's where the shadows are headed right now. That's a directional light, which is basically uniformly casting shadows in the same direction all the time. But then we've got this extra light right here. This is a point light being cast from the fire light. So um, there's a lot left to do. Like I need to make, uh, you know, I want the shadow to fade out as I get closer to um, or I get, as you get farther away from the point light, I want the actual shadow itself to, uh, you know, be less and less opaque. So it starts to fade out a bit. And um, colors need to be applied to the shadows too. If, maybe just a little bit of color and hue changes, things like that. Um, but let's look at the code. What's uh, gotten done to make that happen um, for the point lights. At first, let's go to the voxel engine. You can see where it starts to cast these shadows. Um, it's actually in the paint method. So uh, if a um, if when the voxel engine is painting a single voxel and that voxel is opaque, completely opaque, and um, we're it, we have the right flag to be casting shadows for this voxel, then it just sets up a cast and then loops over all the lights and applies the cast. So really the only thing I really have changed here since uh, you know the last few days of coding is just that um, it's casting multiple shadows per light rather than there just being one directional light which was kind of the default before. So now there's a list of lights. They All the lights have different properties. Let's look at the light structure actually. It's kind of a fundamental thing here. Uh, each light has a type. Um, currently, I'm only implemented, implementing directional and point lights, uh, but there's also room for color, strength, uh, position, the vector for the light, possibly the 2D vector for the light as well, the scale, um, what flags there are for that light, and then there's a simple method to loop over all the lights. It just basically declares, it makes public a static vector of lights, so any, um, any part of the engine, like the voxel engine or um, the render system or whatever can just access these lights, add to the lights, you know, remove from the lights, clear the lights, whatever. It makes it really simple to access them all and keep them all in one simple, you know, contained, concise place. So, um, so basically that's it. It's just cat. It sets up a cast, and the cast has a you know a two D position. This is its vector. Um, but though this that's pretty that's a pretty unique thing to talk about. Um, an interesting point uh, is that um, the vector. I was thinking that for a point light, every single voxel would have to cast its own, ve it's like subtract itself, its position from the light's position to cre create a vector that was perfect for each voxel. Um, but it actually turned out to be much, much more simple and a lot less math, and it still looks really good just to cast, um, the, to use a single vector per entity. So. In the render system, before it goes and paints all its voxels, like an entity might have something like 3,000 voxels, for example. If we, if it, if the engine were going and recomputing the vector for the shadow cast for every single one of those painted voxels, it would be a lot of work on it. Um, and th there's a much simpler way. So in paint voxels, I've got this little method called animate lights, which goes and basically loops over all the lights. Currently, there's only two of them on the screen, so it's not like there's a ton of lights. And then it goes and um, you know, switches the type of the light, and if it's a point light, then it sets the vector for that light based on the entity's overall position. So rather than, I mean, it might not be as perfect as it could be, but it still looks pretty good, right? As I'm walking around this pillar with the fire on top, that shadow is being cast at a new angle each time I move a little bit. It, that shadow looks pretty good to me, right? 
It doesn't have to be all perfect where every single voxel ch creates its own vector. So this, uh, this was a huge simplification and um, saved me from having to re basically rework the entire voxel painting system. Uh, because the current painting system uses just 2D positions, actually. 2D positions with Z depths. So it's a 3D, um, I guess it's a 3D position, but the Z is just the depth and the X and the Y are at the 2D X and Y. Rather than the full-on 3D X, Y, Z positions. Uh, so the vo if I were to actually do perfect um, uh, ray casts uh, in 3D for each voxel, separate different vectors, that would be um, that would need to ha add the three dimensional position as well as the two dimensional position for every voxel, which is just going to complicate things like crazy. So I'm glad this worked. Uh, you can see right now the underneath the player's feet, the his shadow is flickering a little bit. There's some issue. I'm I'm not quite. Oh, actually I can I can. Nope, that's not it. Shoot, I'm not exactly sure why. I'm trying to catch that bug right now. I'm trying to fix that. What the heck is that? Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope uh um hope it was of value to you. Catch you next time.